So we're thinking about the anchor charts and um, the pieces of, of the anchor charts are, are, are important. But I think the, the, the main thing to start to uh, think about is how anchor charts will change your teaching. How anchor charts will really start um, changing how students are talking, how students are thinking and reasoning and problem solving as, as, as well and how the anchor charts really fit into the world of, of, uh, of instruction and learning in the classroom. Today our focus is going to not only look at multiplication strategies but we are also going to be looking at, at a special word today and that's an array. Everybody say array. 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 And so we're going to start with, um, with reviewing our vocabulary that we've been working on. Okay, so we'll start with the first one. Let's everybody say it. Nice. Let's say that one one more time. Decompose. And this is decomposed by place. So let's do that. Decomposed by place. By place. We worked on that for a little bit, and we'll be working with that a little bit today as well. And this one is what? Open array. Place value. And place value. So we're going to start today with a quick write. Okay? And our quick write is going to be, let's say, everybody, does everybody have their math journals here? Let's get our math journals out. Our quick write this morning is this right here. Okay. What do you know about open arrays? And notice that on our quick write, I also put a reminder right here that it's important to put what? The date. The date. It's very important to put the date. We have our quick write, what do you know about arrays? And let's remember, talk to a partner very quickly about maybe what might be a sentence that you could write that could tell me that you're going to be writing about arrays without having to write the question. Remember we call that a starter sentence? So talk with a partner really fast about what might be your starter sentence. Again, an I should be coming back to me. Looking for the I's. Good, 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 good. And this number is what? Zero. Zero. Nicely done, nicely done. So I want you to have a quick conversation with a, a table partner. It could be a face partner or a shoulder partner. Uh, if you're in threes, have a three conversation. Same back there. Uh, what did you write down? What do you remember about arrays? Okay, what do you remember about arrays? What do you know about arrays? What I wrote is what I know about arrays is that it can help you with And I was going to write multiplication. I was going to use an multiplication factors. Alrighty, in five, four, three, two, eyes back on me. Good job. Um, so somebody. Talk to me about what you remember about arrays. You know, get our minds going on this idea of arrays here. Annabelle. What I know about an array is when you use an array, you can count bigger things easier, and you have the rows and the columns. Okay, let's stop right there. Did everybody get get what Annabelle said about problems being easier? Okay, good, good, good. So Annabelle, talk to us again. Uh, tell us a little bit more about what you wrote. You could count the, the squares on the top, the, the top column, and then from the bottom col the bottom row, and then if you were to uh, um, multiply, multiply those up, then you would get your total number. I heard two math words, okay, that, that I was thinking about. Talk to a partner. What two math words did I hear that Annabelle said, okay? Talk to a partner very quickly. What I think I said is multiples and, and arrays and arrays and columns and columns. Okay, let's come back to me. I wrote one of the words I heard, which is one of the confusing words right there, and it is a green word on the anchor chart. Can everybody say it? What it is? Rows. Rows. Okay. Did uh, raise your hand if you heard rows and this idea of columns. Okay. I'm not putting columns up there yet because I really want to really understand rows, okay? So I heard Annabelle say that the rows were the numbers that are on top, okay? So everybody do this on top. Actually, Annabelle said those were the columns. Do you think they're columns going this way? You know, or are they rows going this way, these columns? You know, those are two confusing things, okay? So talk with a partner. Do you think the rows go on the top or on the side right here going up and down? Do they go? Right. 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 
to. Okay, so I see you guys moving like this, and that's really nice, okay? I think of two other math words right here really fast, and one of them is vertical. Everybody go up and down like this, vertical. And the other one is horizontal, 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 okay? So are rows the horizontal ones, or are they the vertical ones? You know, what do you think? Emily? What I think about rows is this rows should this way, rows are this way, and... Tell me this way. Give me another word for this way. Vert, horizontal. Horizontal. And you know what? I'm going to write that word horizontal right underneath. Right underneath rows. So we see, so rows are right here. Horizontal is one of those, those words, okay, that, that meet, that's very similar to, to rows. And it gives us a direction. Everybody say direction. Direction. Okay.